for that person who's listening, mm -hmm. that's saying, okay, this is great and it's entertaining and that's awesome. I'm not a musician. I okay. don't like what, why do I care about <laughs> voice? Like why should the common business owner or um, common entrepreneur, if that's even a thing, mm -hmm. care um, about voice and how to use it properly? Well, there are two aspects to this. Using your own voice in a powerful way will get your point across much more accurately and clearly and you will find that better business deals happen because you know what you're saying and you know how to say it. But beyond that, if it's not you that's doing the voice for your company, then the person that is should be representing your company in audible format. So that's where the whole audio branding thing comes in. And that's kind of why I graduated, I guess, from my early podcast into this new one, because it was such an important topic. And it was something that a lot of business owners really don't give a lot of thought to. So just at, at its very basic level, if you're a jewelry store, you shouldn't have 80s hairband on your music on your on hold. Like that shouldn't be a thing. You need to relate the music that you would have playing in your brick and mortar store and have it on your on hold. And the voice that you have speaking on your on hold should also reflect who your company is.